ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ എ വാം വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ മിഡ് വൈഫ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ഹാവ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അബൌട്ട് ദ മാൽ പൊസിഷൻ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ദ ഓക്സിബിറ്റോ പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ പൊസിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഐ പ്രോമിസ് യു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വിൽ ബി ദ മെക്കാനിസം സോ വിത്തൌട്ട് വേസ്റ്റിംഗ് ടൈം വി ക്യാൻ മൂവ് ഓൺ ടു അവർ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് മെക്കാനിസം ഓഫ് ലേബർ ഇൻ റൈറ്റ് ഓക്സിബിറ്റോ പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ പൊസിഷൻ For an introduction, occipito posterior position is an abnormal position of the vertex rather than an abnormal presentation. In a vertex presentation, when occiput is placed posteriorly over the sacroiliac joint or directly over sacrum, it is called occipito posterior position. Here we will discuss about different types of posterior positions. When the occiput is placed over the right sacroiliac joint, we called it as a right occipital posterior. Otherwise, we called it as a third position of vertex. When the occiput is placed over the left sacroiliac joint, we called it as left occipital posterior position. Also, we called fourth position of vertex. When it points towards the sacrum, it is called a direct occipital posterior. In case of occipital posterior, around 10% of cases we can expect as unfavorable conditions such as non-rotation or mal-rotation. The main causes of this non-rotation or mal-rotations are deflection of the head, weak uterine contraction, flat sacrum, prominent ischial spine, convergent side walls, weak pelvic floor muscles, big baby and early drainage of liquor. In case of occipital posterior position we can expect three types of result the first one is incomplete forward rotation occiput rotate 1 by 8th of the circle the sagittal suture come to lie in bispinous diameter which result in deep transverse arrest it occurs in mild deflection of head the second one is non rotation both Sinciput and occiput reaches pelvic floor at the same time the sagittal sutures lie in oblique diameter which result in oblique posterior arrest it occurs in case of moderate deflection of head in some cases we can expect the favorable circumstances in persistent occipital posterior position spontaneous delivery occurs as phase 2 pubis descent of head occurs until the root of nose hinges under symphysis pubis delivery of bro vertex occiput lastly face is borne by extension restitution external rotation and delivery of trunk occurs as normally here i will explain about the mechanism of labor in right occipital posterior in case of long rotation before starting the mechanism of labor it is very important to know how to hold the baby properly in right occipital posterior we have to hold the baby in left hand then bend the both leg towards the abdomen also both hand cross over the chest hold the baby like this finally need to support the head also place the baby in right occipital position that is keep the occiput to the right sacroiliac joint next we'll see the criteria of right occipital posterior here the lie is longitudinal attitude is one of the deflection next is presentation that is cephalic presentation position is right occipital posterior denominator is the occiput presenting part is middle or anterior area of the left parietal bone diameter is occipito frontal diameter which is 11.5 cm which lies in the right oblique diameter of the pelvis occiput points the right sacroiliac joint sinciput face the left iliopectineal eminence Engagement takes place in the right oblique diameter of the pelvis. Transverse diameter is the biparietal diameter. Anterior-posterior diameter are either suboccipital frontal or occipital frontal. 
So occipital frontal is 11.5 cm. Suboccipital frontal is 10 cm. Next movement is flexion. Occiput is the leading part due to the increased flexion and descent. Occiput touches the pelvic floor which rotate forward 3 by 8 of the circle and comes under the symphysis pubis. Now shoulders are in the left oblique diameter. Shoulder rotate 2 by 8 of the circle from left to right oblique diameter. Then crowning occurs. Occiput comes under the symphysis pubis. Hereafter the head no longer go back during the contraction. The biparatal diameter is going to bone. The sinciput face chin seeps through the perineum by movement called extension. Next is the restitution. Occiput turn 1 by 8th of the circle. Here the head realignment will be takes place. Internal rotation of shoulder at the same time external rotation of head. Then the shoulders reaches the pelvic floor. It is in the right oblique diameter. Then the shoulder rotate forward 1 by 8th of the circle and become shoulders are in anterior posterior diameter. Then the head rotate towards the right side of the pelvis. Anterior shoulder comes under the symphysis pubis. Posterior shoulder seeps the perineum. Due to lateral flexion, the baby is born on mother's abdomen. This is the mechanism which is takes place in case of right occipital posterior. I hope all of you understood about the mechanism. So in the next video, we will meet with an another episode of Midwifery Topic. Till that, take care. Bye-bye.